I'm joined in the studio with Amanda Tariro Mparudi. Good morning, ma'am. Good morning, how are you? Very well, thank you. When you walked in here, I was like, wow, look at that outfit. Thank you. Very <laughs> unique, very different. Thank you. <laughs> are you also involved in the styling of it, or you just... Yeah, I, I also like do designs. Oh, you also do designs on top of singing as mm -hmm. well? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, how did you... Which one do you do best? <laughs> the singing part. The no, singing one is, is best. Yeah. So you actually push that more than the designing part. Yes. Right. Amanda, tell us about your journey. You're a singer, songwriter, and obviously a designer. How did this all come? Uh, so um, I was noticed I could sing by my aunt when I was five years old. I started my first recording in 2015 uh, in Kweru. And then from there I was doing music. I once stopped, but then I continued up to the state. Yeah? Yeah. Why did you stop? <laughs> Backlashes <laughs> from people. Like people were just telling me you can't. Someone was saying, ah, the industry is just too heavy for you. It's too oh, young yeah. and stuff like that. Yeah. And then, so how did you how did you overcome that? Because a lot of people get stuck in that. Ah, and go on, so I'm not doing it. How did you push so through? I was motivated by seeing other artists doing it. I was like, ah, if they can do it, I'm pretty sure I can do you it. You could better. do it as well. Huh? Yeah. Wow, that's very good. That's encouraging for somebody who's watching and thinking, I've given up. Thank so that's you. very good. So you're also known as Mandy. Yes. Why Mandy? So Mandy is derived from my birth name, Amanda. That's okay. where Mandy came from. Okay. Uh -huh. So you, your stage name is Mandy? Yeah, Mandy. Okay. Now, you also did a song, um, uh, Awe. Is it Awe? Or Sowe? Sowe. Yes. <laughs> Talking <Sowe>. vibes. <laughs> yeah. It's How did that come about? Uh, so I, I recorded the song okay. and then we approached Toki. And oh, was it your song? You wrote it? Yeah, I okay. wrote it. I wrote my part and then he wrote his part. Okay. And then it was like, can you put something in there? And he liked the song. I was like, yeah, I can do something. Then yeah. he put his own verses on the song. So when you say you approach Toki, Toki vibes, like I just go up and say, knock, knock, hi, it's Marissa, can I? <laughs> or did you have a relationship before with him or the people that uh, who know him? I, we, How did that I got come connected about? to him through a friend. Okay. Yes, it's the one who connected the both of us and uh -huh. said, you know, if you guys come together, you might just actually make a hit song. And then it happened. And it did happen. <laughs> one million views. Yeah. I mean, how did that make you feel? Oh, I mean, I especially was... from someone who's like, ah, to go need, you know, how did that I was make very you feel? overwhelmed. I never thought that the song was going to reach there. But then I was really surprised, honestly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, who, what other collaborations have you done with other artists? I did a song with Kay Chaps, I did a song with uh, Jam Master, I have another song with Kelvin Mangan as well. Oh, that's very good. And how are those songs doing? Yeah, they're doing quite well. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're doing quite well. Okay, uh, when I said our, it's, it's, your, it's your EP, right? Yeah. That's what it's called. Mm -hmm. Tell us about this and the making of it and the, pro the process of all that. Okay, so I had singles that I didn't release. Some of them were released, some of them were not released yet. So. I said, ha, for a start, let me just compile all those single songs and make an Awe EP. Mm -hmm. So that's how I came up with that EP. Why is that called Awe? What does that mean? So my stage name is Mendy <coughs> Awe. Mm -hmm. So I just took the last part of my stage name and put it on my EP. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> what a journey. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it must take long hours to be in the studio. Does it take long for you or are you just like a one-woman wonder? You just do it once and that's it. Well, it depends. Sometimes, some days it's longer, some days it's shorter. So uh -huh. It's both. It's both on that. Mm -hmm. And you also have an album, Kupisa Sevamwe. Mm -hmm. What is that one all about? So, Kupisa Sevamwe, basically, it's a prayer. I was saying, I've been doing this for long. I think it's high time the Lord blesses me. So, it's a prayer, uh -huh. something like that. And then I did uh, 11 tricks on that Kupisa mm -hmm. Sevamwe album. I have 12 songs, 11 songs, I mean, mm -hmm. on the whole album. Mm -hmm. And then, yeah. How long did it take you to do this album? Uh, about four months. Four, four months. months? Yeah. <laughs> four months. But you know what you're saying? Yeah, I, I'm thinking that's pretty good. Because <laughs> it can take other people, ditto, ditto, like <laughs> five years <laughs> to just come up with this song. So well done. That's really um, encouraging. 2024, what do you have planned for us, the listeners, your fans? Uh, so this year, I am going to be doing videos for my album. And release uh, singles and collaborations as I go along the way. That's my 2024 plan. And live shows and uh, adverts. Yeah. Something along those lines. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Have you been doing that before? You're now starting to just come out more and push yourself and your brand more? Uh, I'm starting to like come out now because mm -hmm. uh, back then it was a bit difficult to get in certain spaces. But yeah. now it's a bit easier. 
yeah. So, yeah. Because a lot more people know you now as well. They and do. <laughs> it's, it's, actually, it's actually quite a journey. So it's actually really very good. So you do know that this is Women's Month. Um, how, how, how have you celebrated that as a woman? So I have a song titled Bodo. It speaks about the um, issues of gender-based violence, something along those lines. So mm. I am pushing that as well as I go along this Women's Month. Is it gender-based yeah. violence? Is this something that you uh, have been subjected to or is it something that you're passionate about kind of trying to talk about? I was once like in a situation like that. I okay. used to live with relatives who used to fight and stuff like that. So they're the ones who actually inspired the song. So I'm just trying to educate all women are they and how to deal with such issues. Yeah, that is very important. I mean, you're not very old, you're quite young, and you're <laughs> driving these issues, which is really very good. For somebody who's looking up to you, um, Mandy, what, what can you tell them about being in this, uh, I mean, in this space of music, of singing? What is it like out there for a young lady? Well, firstly, I would like to say music is a very long spiritual journey. It's a very long journey. It requires a lot of patience and perseverance and a lot of discipline. Okay. Yeah, it's a very long journey. But then if you work hard and being persistent, you get it mm -hmm. as days come by. Yeah. yeah. So you'd encourage them to just work hard. Work hard and yeah. be in the correct spaces, be yeah. around the right people. Yeah. yeah have, you, have you experienced some... Uh, backlash when you are out there seeing you are a young female. How, how do you, or if you have a manager who, who does it for you, or is it just you in the forefront doing everything on your own? I do have a manager. We work together. Okay. We're like a team. Okay. But then, yeah, we do find people who are saying, ah, meh, it's not going to work. So I'm saying, ah, you just need to push a little bit more. Mm. So yeah, backlash is always there, but we push through. You push through, hey? Yeah. That journey that you were talking about. Mm -hmm. That's incredible. Do you want to sing something for us quickly? Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> so I'm going to sing my, my, my song titled Kupisa Sewa. Okay. Then not a kupisa sewa mwe, kupeka butu ya kafana na nebande, kutoro ne mufese oti baby hande, kuna na mata ne musiwa sande, shenu ziko famba samare, ugare utenda ufare, eh, kupisa sewa mwe. Did not I could piss off the wrong way. I could go the whole day. <laughs> I'm just like also thinking, do not be to know any more music. I sing with everybody who comes. We're gonna do a song outside. Just okay. Now. <laughs> okay, that's fine. Could piss I love what that says and the, the lyrics are even also making sense. So Thank well you. done for that. Thank five you. year plan, Mandy. What's your five year vision for yourself? Where do you see yourself? Oh, center stage. Oh, wow. <laughs> there, somewhere, I don't know, all around Africa, America, Europe, Asia. I want to be everywhere. You want to be everywhere. Mind, oh, everywhere. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And, and your I'm motive for wanting to be everywhere, what is it? My motive? Mm -hmm. <laughs> I just want to, you know, like, I just want to be like that girl that people think of when they say music in Zimbabwe, female artists in Zimbabwe. I want to be like on the top. Yeah, yeah. To make making a difference. Yes. And I think you know the the thing that you touched on gender based violence. I think it's something that you can actually bring on board your brand uh, as well. If if you think about that, because it's something that we need and something that is really happening mm -hmm. here. Mandy, thank you so much for joining us. Thank hey? you for having me. <laughs> That's Mandy for you, uh, everyone. She's what, uh, what? Do you have a show coming up? No. Ah, uh, no, not yet. Not yet. Yeah, not yet. Okay, not but yet. if people want to follow you, what's your name on social media? It's Mandy Awe on everything. Mandy Awe on Facebook, Instagram. I'm everywhere. Spotify, everywhere. audio, my... You name it, I'm there. As Mandy Awe. Yes. Excellent. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much for having me. Konapo, konapo. Ipapwe papo pa ZTN Prime. DSTV Channel 294. The place to be.